Welcome to We Leprechaun Play Festival. I'm Charlotte Cocker, one of the co-producers, and I'm joined here today by Evan. Hi everyone, my name is Evan Boffman. I am co-producer of the We Leprechaun uh, Short Play Festival. We are here to um, share with you 11 original plays written entirely by kids. Last year, uh, you presented the We uh, Halloween Play Festival as well. Can you tell us a little bit more about the decision to uh, bring this back this year with the We Leprechaun Play Festival? Yeah, so after the We Halloween Play Festival, we saw how excited a lot of the students were, a lot of the kids were to have their plays performed for the first time ever. So we decided we wanted to open that opportunity up to even more young young writers in the Southern California area. So we decided to create the We Leprechaun Play Festival. So we've given students now the opportunity to write original plays uh, that are leprechaun centric. And they have created really whimsical, magical, creative, and humorous pieces that you're gonna be able to see here tonight. Um, you know, Charlotte, this is your first time producing a We a play festival. So how's your experience been? It's been great. Like you mentioned, it's just magical reading these plays written by young authors. Um, they're just so interesting and different to the plays that you read um, in general. So it's been a blast getting to read them, provide feedback to the students and, you know, get them really excited to see the, the show that we're putting on tonight. Um, I was once a young aspiring writer as well. So an opportunity like this would have been something that I would have happily jumped on. And I'm so excited to offer the same opportunity for young writers as well. Um, and then uh, Evan, can you actually go ahead and talk a little bit more about um, where the proceeds are going for the show tonight? Yes. So first of all, I'd like to say that we, we always are, are presenting our virtual productions to you free so that you're able to enjoy uh, from the comfort of your homes with your friends and your family. However, if you'd like to throw some leprechaun gold our way, there is a donation link that you can click on at any time throughout the show. And any proceeds that we make tonight will go to a local business that has been affected by COVID-19. And while you're at it, please go ahead and also give us a follow on social media at Fawn Prods. And please go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well so you can stay up to date with all the latest happenings at Force of Nature Productions. Evan, any final words? Yeah, I'd just like to say again, thank you for being here with us this evening, supporting these young artists who are, you know, sharing their creativity with you this evening. And I also would just like to send a heartfelt thanks for you supporting the arts during these unprecedented times. So I hope you enjoy the show. Thank you. Top of the morning. Or should I say, night? <laughs> so good to see all your little faces. I'm Paddy of Furniture, and I'm your guide into the magical world of We Leprechaun. So happy to meet you all. One of the legends about me people says that we keep our gold inside a great big pot at the end of a rainbow. I can neither confirm nor deny such a thing as I can't tell a lie. However, what many don't know is that there are infinite stories that lie on the path to the end of the rainbow. Stories of those trying to reach our gold. So the fine folks at Force of Nature found 11 wee leprechauns in your human world and got them to write their stories so we can share them with you all tonight. These stories are filled with magic, wonder, fright, mystery, and fun. Each one of them sharing lessons we can all learn something from. But enough about telling you. What do you say we show you and begin with these first four tales? Grab your lucky clovers and magical shillelaghs as we take a trip down the magical rainbow together. Wow, David, you were, you were running fast. Yeah. My tennis shoes make me quicker than a cheetah. Well, since we tied, I guess that means I'm faster than the cheetah too, huh? Uh-huh, that's right, Uncle Henry. And you said we had to get to the rainbow's pot of gold before anyone else did. 
right, but I don't see any gold here. Do you? It has to be around here somewhere. <gasps> the leprechaun probably hid it. Where's it hidden? <gasps> Treasure is usually buried underground. Guess I should go back to my house and get a shovel. <laughs> you don't need a shovel. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Leprechaun. My name isn't Mr. Leprechaun. It's Lucky O'Connor. Uh, Mr. O'Connor. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Um, uh, uh, I'm Henry. This is my nephew, David. Uh, hi. Now, I know you're here for me gold. But there isn't any. What? Why is the gold gone? I keep all me gold in the bank. Oh, oh that's smart. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just kidding. A group of people got here before you and already won all me coins. Whoa. They must have run quicker than the Flash. Oh, unlucky. Why am I so unlucky? <laughs> Someone got to the gold before us. It's been a bad week. I lost my phone. A piece of my roof fell off and hit me on my head. My computer broke. Gold would have made my life easier. <laughs> well, there isn't any gold. Ooh, uh, but I do have a cold. Oh, a chew. Oh, bless you, Lucky. Oh, hey, look. Gold came out of your nose. <laughs> oh, wait, that's not gold. It, it's just boogers. Uh, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. You really oh, thought that stuff was gold? <laughs> I don't know how leprechauns work. <laughs> Bless you, Uncle Henry. Oh, no, no, I'm sick, too. <laughs> Oh, bless you, and uh, I'm sorry. My bad luck is getting worse. <laughs> well, I feel bad for making you sick, Uncle Henry. Is there anything I can do for you? I need to do something fun to make me feel a little better. Ooh, what if we ride the rainbow like it's a slide? I'm a grown-up. Slides aren't that fun. What if we turn it into a water slide? Oh, now that sounds like fun. Um, oh, okay, I guess. Oh, oh, yeah. I need my super duper long water hose from my backyard. David, can you run faster than a cheetah to go get it? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> uh, do you like baseball? Yes. Hey, hey. Uh, did you watch the Dodgers game last night? I wish. My TV remote got lost. I can't find it anywhere. <gasps> quicker than a cheetah, just like you said. <laughs> Quick, get that rainbow wet. Yeah. Whoa, look, the colors are washing off the rainbow. It's just paint! Rainbow, it's so shiny. It's made out of gold coins. <laughs> yes, you found me gold coins. I was trying to protect them to keep them hidden. Does this mean we get to keep them? Yes, but it would be nice if you left some for me. I worked hard to mine all that gold. But uh, David, Let's only take 10 gold coins. That should be enough to turn my luck around. Would that be okay, Mr. O'Connor? Yes, thank you. <gasps> oh, let's ride the golden rainbow like it's the slide first. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I'll ride too. <laughs> oh, there you go. Your turn. Whee! Ah, <laughs> now it's my turn. Here I go. <laughs> Come on.
beautiful day, Vernon. Uh, we should go out and explore. Very nice today, but I want to stay in like we always do. I can enjoy the view from right here. Vernon, come on, don't be such a lazy bone. We won't go very far. I'm not lazy. I just really enjoy doing nothing. I want to stay here and watch TV with my best friend. Please, we won't go far, I promise. And I'll buy you some chips from the corner store when we get back. Fine, but but I'm going to complain the whole time. And I get to say when we come back, okay? Deal. All right. All right, Eva. You got everything. Uh, water, bug spray, compass. I have the essentials, like you said. We're not going far anyway. All right, then. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Can we take a quick break, Frank, please? I'm out of breath. Are you sure you know where we're going? Maybe we should just go back home. Seriously, dude, we've only been walking for like 30 minutes. Oh, you've got to stop skipping P.E. I don't skip P.E. I have a doctor's note that excuses me from it. Plus, it's it's been a while since we've been on an adventure like this. Well, isn't it more fun than staring at a TV screen? No. Well, too bad. Let's... Keep walking before it gets too cold. Uh, you brought an extra sweater, didn't you? Yeah, totally. Oh. Wow! Look what I found! What is it? A four-leaf clover. You know what this means? No. It means we'll have good luck. Don't tell me you believe in that nonsense. It's not nonsense. Hey, look, there's more of them. They're everywhere. I can't believe my eyes. I mean, this this is so magical. I'm... Vernon, pinch me. I must be dreaming. Ow! Gee, you didn't have to pinch me that hard. Well... The instructions weren't very clear. Oh, hey, look. A cold coin. I think this is the best day of my life. Well, maybe these four-leaf clovers are bringing us some good luck. Oh, imagine if we found a whole pot of gold, too. That would never happen. You're probably right. <laughs> Frank, did you hear that noise? Yeah, I thought it was you breaking open another bag of chips or something. Well, if it wasn't you, uh, where's it coming from? Frank, look! Is, is that a leprechaun? Uh, may, maybe we should talk to him, make sure he's real. That sounds like a terrible idea. Leprechauns are real. Please, Vernon, let's just say hi and scope them out. Fine, but, but I don't trust this. Hi there. I'm Frank. No offense. Are, are you a real leprechaun? I wouldn't be offended. Yes, I am real, as real as you and your friend. I've never seen a leprechaun before. Uh, well, uh, until today, I I didn't even think that you existed. Uh, most of the world questions our existence. Best they think us just a myth. Otherwise, they constantly be after our pots of gold. Well, it, 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 it's such an honor to meet you. Uh, can I uh, get a photo with you? Ooh, that's weird. Why would you ask him for a picture? No photos, please. I like staying hidden in my field of clovers. 
not streaming on your Facebooks and your Instagrams. Well, uh, Mr. Leprechaun, I, I, I think I have a coin that belongs to you. I, I promise I didn't steal it. It, it, we found it uh, on the ground. McGoon, where did you find it? You see, I become so good at hiding. I can't quite remember where I last hid me pot of gold. Well, we found it over there. Uh, we can help you look for it. But Frank, I want to go home. I'm, I'm cold and I'm tired and my feet hurt. Isn't he supposed to be magical? Can't he just find it himself? No, Vernon. We wanted an adventure and we found one. We have to help him. Uh, Mr. Leprechaun, we, we will find your pot of gold for you. Thank you very much. Frank, look at this beautiful rainbow. I've never seen one up close before. Maybe today is a little bit magical. Thank you for forcing me to come with you today. You're welcome. It is truly beautiful. Well, let's find him his pot of gold and make some more magic happen. See anything yet, guys? Not yet, but we'll keep looking. Oh. Uh, guys, I think I found something. Oh, my! <laughs> you found me pot of gold! Thank you! Vernon, you did it. How did you find it? A hard detective work. Maybe a little bit of beginner's luck. Now, I'm really glad we could help you find your gold. Keep the gold coin you found earlier, Frank. And here's one for you, Vernon, for your help. Whenever, take good care of it. Whenever you need any help, just tap the coin three times. I'll be there to help you, just like you helped me. Can you help us get back home? I can snap my fingers and send you back there. Well, thank you, Mr. Leprechaun. Uh, can I also get some more chips and soda? Thank you. No, I'm not. I think I'm in the exact right place, brother. Brother? <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Your name is Bubbly O'Reilly, isn't it? It sure is. Mum said I've been carefree and bouncy like a bubble since the day I was born. What's your name, amigo? I'm not your amigo. And the name I've given myself is Grumpy Dumpty. You chose that name? Why? Oh, okay. Grumpy seems like a good fit. <laughs> Our parents never told you that you were a twin? A twin? No. <gasps> hey, wait a minute. Is that why we look so similar? Uh, uh, <clears throat> of course they kept me a secret from you. They wanted to forget that I was ever born, to pretend I never existed. Well, Mom and Dad would never do something so awful. They're O'Reilly's. O'Reilly's are good folk. Oh, oh, oh. They dumped me off this cliff. This cliff? The O'Reilly family cliff. Mm, and Grumpy Dumpty had a great fall. I'm sorry, but if that's true, how are you alive? An evil witch caught me as she was flying past on her broom. 
She raised me as her child in a faraway land, and she taught me to despise my real parents and always get revenge on those who've wronged me. Have I wronged you? Well, <laughs> our parents are buried in the O'Reilly family cemetery, <laughs> and I have to take my anger out on someone. Oh, can't we talk this out, brother? I don't want to talk. Just give me everything that's mine. What do you think is yours? Everything you have, especially the family gold. How dare you ask? Oh, well, if we're twins, don't you think things should be split in half? No, oh, you had all of their, your, their love to yourself. Everybody loved you. And me, I had nothing. Oh, you had the witch. Yes, life in a dark, disgusting cave. While you were living a bright and shiny life up here with all the leprechaun gold. Um, do you know the reason you got dumped? Apparently, I bit and attacked you every day. The O'Reillys were afraid they'd be responsible for a monster. <laughs> if what you say is true, then Mom and Dad are the real monsters, Grumpy, not you. Oh, that's nice of you. <laughs> but it's too late. I was born a monster and raised a monster. Stop! Yeah, 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 you're hurting me. And all those years I was hurting, alone, in a cave, with a witch. But you were never alone, were you? You were the perfect little leprechaun. You're scaring me. Stop! Stop! It's not my fault. Oh, isn't it, though? If you had just kept quiet all those times that I bit you, then I could have been raised in O'Reilly as well. If you had just kept quiet. Grumpy, relax, please. Oh, you'll pay for what you did. I should have eaten you in the womb. Please go. Leave me alone. <laughs> Come back here, you little rat. Ah. Oh, 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 I gotcha. Got you. I'm going to kill you. Oh, what did you just say? You're going off this cliff, just like I did. Oh, no, oh, please, no, don't. Um, I'm sorry about mom and dad. Oh, I'm sorry about crying like a baby when I was a baby. I sure hope this makes me feel better. Oh, it won't, Grumpy. Let me go. Let you go, brother. Okay, let's see if Bubbly floats like a bubble. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> they hid the family gold down there. <laughs> I'm feeling better already. <laughs> have wings. Why are you complaining? I'm the one who has to walk everywhere on me stupid little leprechaun legs. Everyone thinks that flying is so easy that all you're doing is floating and gliding, but there's a lot of flapping going on. Look at all these four leaf clovers. <laughs> Can you believe your eyes? Wow, a field of four leaf clovers. I'm so glad I flew all the way over here for that. Right? They are so rare, and I just happened to come across a whole patch of them. It must be me lucky day. You know, you're pretty lame for getting excited about a field full of clovers. You know what is rare? A leprechaun named Clover standing in a field of clovers. <laughs> Whatever, Pixie. You can go 
do your own thing. I'm going to sit right here and patiently wait for a four-leaf clover to just fall to the ground. Why are you going to wait? There's literally one right in front of you. Just pluck it and let's go. Oh, hello. It's bad luck to pick one. You have to wait for it to fall on its own time. Well, that just must be a dumb myth. See? I have one and I'm fine. Pixie, no. You shouldn't have done that. You really shouldn't have done that. Stop freaking out. I'm, I'm fine. I'm better than fine. I'm great. <laughs> yeah, I keep saying that until you suddenly get eaten by a troll or <gasps> captured by a witch. I'm flying and I'm alive. <laughs> Pixie, get down now before something bad happens. Nope. kids for a wonderful place that we all got to see together let's discuss shall we first of all let's talk about leprechaun's look the lesson good things come to those who wait except for domino's pizza and the fairy had some broken wings oh no you know what could fix that red bull watch more commercials kids that's right what about the evil twin leprechaun? Oh, that was a scary one, a very dark one. It frightened me. The lesson, stay away from cliffs. That's right. And what about the missing pot of gold coins? Oh, the leprechaun snapped his fingers and they got more chips. Oh, I wish that happened at the casino. 
and there was hiking, there was picking up clovers, there was sitting down. All these activities, I like to call it CrossFit. That's right. And the disappointing rainbow, or as I like to call it, the stale bag of Skittles. Oh, the lesson, not all that glitters is gold. Sometimes it's called mucus. Wear a mask, kids. That's right. And then he sprayed, painted the rainbow. Oh, that was so clever to me. In my neighborhood, that's called graffiti. That's right. Don't judge. Van Nuys is lovely this time of year. Don't judge. Now, let's take a look at the next three and we will discuss them all together, shall we? You're supposed to be my best friend, man. Why aren't you supporting me? Kyle, I say that I will listen to you and help you if you need it. I did not say that I will help you steal gold from a leprechaun. I don't want to steal gold, James. I just want to catch a leprechaun and force him to give me a wish. It should be around here somewhere. Kyle, can you explain this to me one last time? Well, I heard on this guy's YouTube channel that at this spot on the beach, a leprechaun hid a ton of gold. And if you find the pot of gold, you summon the leprechaun. And if you catch him, he'll grant you a lucky wish. So you're trying to catch a leprechaun without any equipment? Yes. Oh, and look, over there, there's something shiny. Help. Help me. Look, Kyle, there's a lady in the water. We should go help her. Oh, but the gold. Kyle, the gold can wait. Oh, but can it though? Come on, Kyle. Help. I I think I'm drowning. Somebody no, we're, help. we're coming. Whoa, what's the thing coming out of the water next to her? A horse? In the ocean? No. Not a horse, a Kelpie. Thanks for getting so close to us, boys. I cannot get my hat off the horse. Uh, neither can I. Stop saying horse, he's a Kelpie. What's the big deal here, lady? Hi, I'll introduce myself. I am T. I'm a marrow, a sinister creature of the deep. My Kelpie that you're touching is my loyal pet, Parker Peyton Phoenix the Third. You can call him P for short. Together, we are TP. Uh, uh, <laughs> Dude, this is the time for a laugh. But she said TP. Bathroom humor, man. What's bathroom humor? Never mind, that's not important. What is important is that you and your friend will be let go and given mercy if you catch the leprechaun and give him to us. From the sea, we cannot reach what's in the shore. Uh, us creatures of the deep grow weaker as we leave the water. So you want the leprechaun too? P and I don't really like hunting for our food. If we catch the leprechaun, we're hoping he'll give us our wish. All the human flesh we could possibly want. Oh, that's a terrible thing to wish for. Oh yeah? What would you wish for? His girlfriend broke up with him. He wants her to love him again. James! What? I just say the truth. Yeah, but you aren't supposed to say it to the sea monster lady. Oh, buddy, that's rough. I remember my first breakup. He was a swordfish. Anyway, will you do it? Will you catch the leprechaun and give him to us? If you don't, I'll just strip you of your, your flesh right here, right now. Answer me, you brats! The waves! We can barely hold our heads above water much longer. Take us closer to shore, please! Okay, let's take them to the shallows. There. Now will you do it? No way! Dude, you kidding me? Just say yes! Yeah! I don't think you want to die today, do you? No, no! I even listened to the whole time! 
time, and I won't grant either of you your wishes. You don't want to mess with this leprechaun. You have to grant us wishes if we catch you. I constantly have to deal with people who are too lazy to work for themselves, or obnoxious kids who want me to fix their own lives. No, no more wishes. I think that was directed towards us. Yeah, it was. Now leave or I'll make you. I'm not leaving with these scrawny kids. There's hardly any meat on their bones. Help us get out of this kelpie, and we promise we'll never come back here. No. No more wishes for selfish people. Please don't leave us out here. It's the right thing to do. If I help you, it technically counts as your wish. Perfect. Uh, no, not perfect. I now grant you your wish. Swim free of that monstrous fish. I'm gonna have to do this myself then. If you're dumb enough to come out of the water, my Shalala will gladly greet you. Bring it on, old man. You asked for it. Well, I won't be here when you do. Ah, Mr. Leprechaun? It's O'Malley. You want to fight me for another wish? Nope. I do not want my face to look like a squish meat pie. I was just trying to say thank you. You're welcome. And I won't smack you with my shalala if you promise to never try and capture another leprechaun again. Deal. We promise. I never agreed to that. Don't listen to him. He cannot think properly at the moment. Okay. Well, bye. I'm leaving forever. The beach is nice, but the people are horrible. We're so lucky to be alive right now. Whoa, Jude. Kyle, you, you okay? Yeah. I guess I should just deal with the breakup and get over it. And, you know, like a reasonable person, not wish for the way things used to be. I'll help you through this, dude. That's what friends are for. Seriously, I leave for ten minutes. Ginger, what do you think you're doing? Oh, what does it look like I'm doing? <clears throat> I'm relaxing and enjoying the sunshine. Well, our job's not to lie down and rest. Oh, come on. It's only one pot of gold. Not a very impressive one at that. Who wants to steal such a small pot anyway when there are so many larger ones across the land? You worry too much, O'Malley. It's your duty to guard that gold and to stay awake while you're doing it. We're all alone on this cliff. <laughs> oh, I could see someone from a mile away if they were coming to get the gold. Oh, well, not if your eyes are closed. This isn't just any pot of gold, Ginger. This pot of gold is... The dark gold. What do you mean, the dark gold? The dark gold is gold that can do bad things. What kinds of bad things? Its haunting sparkle can convince good people to make bad decisions. Its riches can be used to purchase terribly evil items. Its materials can be melted and shaped into... into deadly weapons. That's frightening. Why am I sitting next to this thing? 
It's harmless as long as it's close to the sun. The sunlight keeps away the darkness. Why didn't anyone tell me this before I agreed to this job? So you understand how important it is to protect it? We can't let anyone get it and use it to do, to do unpleasant things. I thought I was signing up for something easy. It was easy for me. <laughs> you need to find better gods, O'Malley. Don, you put that down this instant. No, the gold wants me to take it. Who are you? Dawn, the bad fairy, she fell under the dark gold spell a long time ago and never recovered. Let's go, gold. I got big plans for you today. Oh, look, <laughs> the, the pot's too heavy for her wee fairy arms. It's keeping her close to the ground. I think we can catch her. Dawn, stop. We need that back. It's not yours. It's not yours either. You're too good for it. It's mine. It'll always be mine. You're better than this, Dawn. No, I'm not. No, she really isn't. Well, it was worth a try. Oh. You're heavier than I remember before. How many souls have you eaten since the last time I saw you? She's slowing down. Catch her! It's over, Don. Hand over the gold. No! Back off! It's mine! Do you both want to catch a nasty spin? I refuse to hand anything over. Fine. What sort of deal? No. No, no deals, Don. I will give you the gold. If I can give one of you bad luck forever. No. We can't do that. We won't. Oh, fine, then. Good luck catching me. I'm rested now. No, wait. Ginger, don't. It's my fault this happened, O'Malley. I was being selfish and lazy. The gold needs to be back in your responsible hands, O'Malley. So, do we have a deal? Hello? Fine. We have a deal. And who's getting bad luck? That shall be me. Oh. Surprise, surprise. It's never O'Malley. Oh. oh! Oh, I don't like how this feels. <laughs> Get used to it. <laughs> Now you go bad luck for the rest of your life. <laughs> well, I'll be seeing you soon, oh my. Next week. <laughs> oh. You didn't have to do that, Ginger. Yes, I did. To protect the world. Thank you, but you better go now. Your bad luck might bring more evil around here today. I guess this is goodbye then. Bye, Ginger. Good luck to you. Not funny, O'Malley.
What on earth? This rainbow has no gold in its end. How can this be? <laughs> well, hi there, little fella. Which is your name? My name is Rachel the Rainbow Fairy. This rainbow here is one of many that I created with my wand. Hi, Rachel. My name is Lucky O'Leary. Hi, Lucky O'Leary. Nice to meet you. What are you looking for? Well, I'm pretty sure you already know that. I'm looking for me pot of gold. Of course you are. Fresh out of the gold guardianship program a bit. They always forget to tell you guys that you need to find your gold before you can bring it back to the rainbow and guard it. Oh, well now that would have been a useful bit of information. Okay, point me in the direction of some gold then. Well, Lucky, I'm afraid you won't be able to find any around here. But if you go to the field of clovers, you might just get lucky. <laughs> get it? Yeah, I get it. It's a very funny joke. Never heard it before. <laughs> anyway, once you find some gold, we'll bring it back here. This rainbow is looking awfully lonely. Well, thanks for your help. Bye. See you later. Whoa! There are so many leprechauns out here looking for their gold. How do I stand a chance against these guys? They're huge! Hi, I'm Lucy. I can help you if you want. Oh, hi, Lucy. I'm Lucky. Why would you want to help me? Looks like it's every leprechaun for himself out here. Exactly. A bunch of selfish guys too stubborn to agree to my assistance. Every single one of them has rejected my offer. Just because I'm a lady leprechaun, it does not mean that I can't do anything more than water some clovers. Well, thank goodness they didn't accept your offer. I guess I am lucky after all. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, yeah, lucky. I get it. Help me, Lucy, please. Well, you are in luck, you know, because we live here. And I... Is the easiest way to find gold. Oh, thanks. That's so nice of you. What do I need to do? Look down at your feet. Hey, look! A four-leaf clover! My play, grab it. Four-leaf clovers are very, very rare, and their luck will bring you close to gold. Okay. Right. Walk this way. Slowly and keep your eyes wide open. Hey, look! A pot of gold! <laughs> you should have said that more quietly, quickly. Go grab it! Those other leprechauns are now off. Oh, back off! Back off! This is Lucky's gold! If he managed to get it out of here! Oh no, it's too heavy. I should have lifted more weight. Uh, look at the muscles on the rest of these guys. They'll be able to carry it away easy. Well, I'll help you if you like. Awesome, please do. Well, under one condition. If you would like me to live with you at your side, Rainbow, I've well, been stuck in this veil forever. It's a deal, partner. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for someone to say that. That's right, we've claimed this gold. Move along! Move along! Oh, yeah! Oh, even with your help, it's too difficult. How in the world are we going to get this back over to the rainbow? The fairy should have been alert at the moment you moved your gold 17 feet. Oh. Hi there, Lucky. Do you need some help? Wait, looks like you've already got some. Who's this? Hi, I'm Lucy. And can you please wave that magic wand of yours for us? Absolutely. That's why I'm here. Oh, that'll fly right back to the rainbow. Yep. Pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, sure hope it doesn't hit anybody in the head. <clears throat> now that wouldn't be very lucky. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, never mind. Thanks, you two, for your help. I don't know where I'd be without you. You'd be crawling through the clovers with those other clowns. A 
That's right. You should have all listened to me. This guy did, and he's lucky he did too. <laughs> lucky. Priceless. That will never get old. <laughs> now you laugh. Come on, Lucky. If you're lucky, you'll be the gold back to the rainbow. <laughs> getting old, don't you think? Oh, and you know what? You're lucky I'm coming with you, pal, because I'll be an extra pair of eyes on that gold of yours. Wait, you come on with us? Yep. Now, I'm feeling lucky. Like lucky. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I'm feeling less lucky by the minute. <laughs> Oh, did you see that, laddies and lasses? We had three more plays that we all got to see together. Let's discuss, shall we? First of all, The Rainbow with No Gold. Oh, I love this story. It was about characters who like to protect and keep and hoard all the gold for themselves and keep it away from others. Or as I like to call it, the 1%. And the next story was The Dark Gold. Oh, yes, a story about a mysterious currency that everyone whispers about, but no one really understands. Also called Bitcoin. That's right. I only invest in GameStop. Oh, two references that won't mean a thing to anybody about a year from now. You're welcome. Yes. And then finally, to capture lucky wishes. Oh, a very exciting tale about a sea creature who really needs to stay away from the good guys far away. You know what those good guys needed? A marrow transplant. Oh, yes. You, oh, thank you. Pla oh, applause. Applause. That's right. No, more, more. No. Oh, that's, oh, yes. Looter. I don't care if you're muted. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, thanks. Oh, of course. Puns on parade. A pun joke that you didn't ask for. You're welcome. And now let's see some more plays together, shall we? This must be the place. The trail of gold dust ends here. We've been traveling for days, my little sea bird. Goldie, I don't feel too comfortable about this anymore. This place has given me the creeps. Freddy, our family's counted on us to bring the pot of gold back home. We cannot just let this thief keep our treasure forever. Yeah, okay. You're right. Let's do this. I'm right by your side. Just like I've been for the past 100 miles. Oh, oh hey, Freddy, I, I think we should hold on. It looks like there's... Ah! I'm trapped! Help me! Oh, it's a booby trap. I knew it. Hold on. Oh, oh no, I am trapped too. I have an idea. Maybe we can chew through the ropes so we can get through them. Good idea. Good thing we've been brushing and flossing on this trip. Keeping our teeth home. Someone's trying to keep us out. How can we be sure there won't be any more traps? We can't be sure, but if we want to continue, we have to take the risk. Risky is your middle name, not mine. Come on, let's keep going. Ah! Now, Freddy, now my little ears hurt. Goldie, what was that? Maybe someone's in trouble. We have to help him. This is super scary. I saw something whiz past us. I think we should turn around. You have to get over being such a scaredy leprechaun, Freddy. Scaredy is my middle name. I see it! The gold! We found it! 
And don't you see? We found a ghost. <gasps> Little leprechauns. Little leprechauns. I can hear you. Quick, get behind this pillar and whisper. Are you brave, little leprechauns? Or foolish, little leprechauns? Coming all this way for your gold. Brave. Foolish. Smart, little leprechauns. Getting past my booby trap. No one ever gets past a banshee booby trap. Freddy, remember the stories Grandpa used to tell us? Banshees are always stealing leprechaun gold. They are attracted to it. Gold is my only friend. He never tries to run away whenever I get near. Banshees are dangerous, Goldie. They can scream so loud it'll melt our brains. Maybe I should scream so loud that it'll melt your little brains. How does that sound? Hmm? That sounds like a terrible idea. Goldie, we should get out of here. We didn't come all this way to turn back now. I have a plan. You should both run away while you still have the chance. Now that is a great idea. No, I have a better idea. You distract her. I'll get the gold. That's your better idea? Yes. How am I supposed to distract the Banshee? What about a scream off? See who can scream the loudest. I bet she'd accept the challenge. But I don't scream that loud. Freddy, Scaredy is your middle name. Okay, I guess I'm going to scream. Here goes nothing. Hello, Banshee. How about a screaming competition? How dare you think you can compete with me? I can barely hear you. How about you get closer and try again? That's rude. But, as you wish. You call that a scream? I call this a scream. Oh, <laughs> oh what a cute little pipsqueak from an annoying little pipsqueak. <laughs> Good job, Freddy. Now we can go. Go, go, go. Looks like I won, Banshee. Oh. Her screams are even in the rest of this place. Run! Wow, Freddy, that was amazing. All your screaming trapped her in there. Yeah, I feel like screaming out in joy right now. Oh, please don't. <laughs> If we stay out in the cold, we might catch a cold, or we might slip and fall on the wet concrete, stop or... Stop worrying so much. Just, just stop and look at the world. It's beautiful. You smell that the smell of rain on the pavement, or we should stay out and enjoy it. There's nothing enjoyable about having frizzy rained on hair or wet socks. I just want to go home and watch some TV. Whoa, look over there. A rainbow! You know what they say? If we follow it, we might be able to find a pot of gold. Let's follow it! Lily, it's cold. I'm cold. I just want to go home. If we find the gold, I'll split it with you. 50-50. Okay, but we better get rich. <laughs> Imagine if we did find a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Oh, and a leprechaun too. That would be so cool! 
Lily, you're so childish. The pot of gold is fake, and so are leprechauns. Hey, you don't know that. Just because you've never seen one doesn't mean they don't exist. You've never seen Santa before, but uh, we know he's real. I guess, but I did see him at the mall once, and I even got a picture with him, so I have proof. Besides, how do you know we'll find what we're looking for? I just know we will. Plus, this is so much better than doing homework. I guess it would be pretty cool if we actually found a real pot of gold and a real leprechaun. And if I got it on camera, my TikTok would totally blow up. I'm sorry, Camilla. We're at the end of the rainbow and I don't see any gold. I'm sorry, this was, it was just a waste of time. <laughs> what are you screaming at? You scared us! Why are you screaming? You scared me! Are you a real leprechaun? What happened to your head? Oh, I was hiding me pot of gold, and it started raining, and I slipped and fell all the way down the rainbow, and me shillelagh hit me in the head. And now I can't walk, I can't remember anything, and I can't find me pot of gold. <sighs> So, you are a real leprechaun? Well, as far as I know, uh, yes, I'm real. <laughs> How can you be real? Those creatures are fake. Ah, don't call me creature. You shall call me O'Reilly. And leprechauns are not fake. We're a very real and very gentle people. I knew they were real. Mm. I told you, Camilla. Not real. Real dumb. How could a leprechaun lose his own pot of gold? I told you. I slipped in the rain, fell, and hit my head. See? I told you walking in the rain was dangerous. You two girls, help me find me pot of gold. Yes, of course we will. I've never met a real leprechaun before. It might be nice to hang out for a while. Well, well thank you very much. I I'll sit here and bandage me leg, and if you two girls find me pot of gold, I will grant you each two wishes. Where do you think it fell? Well, it's got to be around here somewhere. This is where I woke up. I, I can't imagine it fell too far away from me. If it fell not too far from him, why can't he find it? He's hurt. Look at the poor fella. I'm just saying if he was too lazy to get up and find it himself, he should have just said so. Camilla, stop thinking the worst about him. We barely know him and he's hurt. Let's just help him find his gold. That's what we set out to do anyway, remember? To find a pot of gold. You mean what you set out to do. <gasps> Here it is. I found it. Oh, well, that was easy. O'Reilly! Why, I will! What? Oh, oh, you scared me! Oh, uh, what are you two doing with me, pot of gold? Did you steal it? No! You asked us to help you find it. Remember? No, I. I. I uh. Can't. The last thing I remember is falling in the rain. Oh. Well. No. We found you injured, and I kindly offered to help you look for your gold while your little legs rested up. Oh, thank you very much. I, I can't seem to remember much. It's all right, O'Reilly. We are just happy to help you. Oh, well, let me give you a token of my appreciation. I grant you two wishes each, redeemable at any time. I really appreciate that. It's just that when we were looking for your gold, you actually promised us four wishes. I did. You know, I think it was actually five. Camilla! Well, uh, I better stick to me word. Uh, because our word's all we have. And we leprechauns hold it in the highest regard. Here, five wishes each. Thank you. I'm sorry. 
I can't accept these five wishes. I have to give them back to you. I just wish Camilla had the same level of honesty. Wish granted. I... Oh, you only promised us two wishes, but I lied and said you promised us more. <laughs> wow, it worked. Well, of course it worked. Now the two of you take your two wishes each and go home. And thank you for your help. And your honesty. You're welcome. Let's go home, Camilla. I, I, oh, I really enjoyed our day in the rain today and looking for gold. You're my best friend. Is that the wish speaking? No, that's me speaking. I couldn't lie even if I wanted to. Well, let's go get some hot cocoa and um, some dry socks. I just don't know how we're going to scrape by this month. I think the bank's about to foreclose on a rainbow. I hate to say it, but I think me and the old lady are going to end up out on the street. Hey, don't be so negative. At least we will all be roughing it together out there. They just impounded on me fairy dust. It's tough times out there, Sparkle. Life ain't no fairy tale anymore. Oh. Well, I guess it's not rough for everyone. Who's that? That is George O'Malley. He's the richest leprechaun out there. He's the Bill Gates of leprechauns. Boy, if I had even a fraction of his gold, I could pay off all my debt. Oh, it looks like he's awfully close to the ledge. Would be a shame if he fell. Bubbly! Let's... Let's push him off. Are you serious? We can't do such a thing. Well, I heard if the richest leprechaun dies, the poorest leprechaun inherits his gold. He's the richest, I'm the poorest. It would solve all my problems. It would solve all your financial problems too. Mm, it's an intriguing offer, but I don't think I could push him off a cliff. That's pretty brutal. Don't you have magic? Yes, but I am poor, remember? The richer you are, the more powerful you are. All I have is water bending, which sucks. That might just work. But what exactly is in it for me? I'll give you 10% of whatever I get. Fine, that will do. You see that puddle right there? Is that enough water to push him off? Yes, it is more than enough. <laughs> I love me gold. I love me lucky four-leaf clover. I love me bank account. <laughs> ah! <gasps> yes, you did it. He's gone. Well... I can't believe I did that. Get ready to have a flexing bank account. Ow! Me head! Where did all that water come from? What, what are you? I'm a leprechaun, sir. What are you, a strange looking tall leprechaun? My name is Bob. I'm human. Oh, wow, I never met a human before. Now tell me, tall leprechaun, where exactly am I? You're in Gold Town. Hey, aren't you my school mascot? I'm a mascot? Yes, and a very good one, too. You do this funky dance, like when we score a point during the game. But where did you just come from? It looked like you fell from the clouds. I live up there. The clouds are me home. All me family and friends are there. Well, at 
least I thought they were my friends. I think someone pushed me down here. Good thing I had me lucky four-leaf clover, or I would have never survived that fall. Did you need help getting back up there? I can take you to the bus stop. If you catch the 12 o'clock, it'll take you all the way up the tall mountain. That's a good start. Okay, follow me. I don't get it. Why aren't I rich yet? I should be falling. How could you survive that? It's a far drop. It's 29,032 feet. I want my money! So, what even is a bus? It's a big moving car that will take you where you need to go. Wow, that sounds so magical. <laughs> Hardly. Anyway, as my gift to you for helping me make my way back home, I want to give you this. Wow! It's me lucky four-leaf clover. It will always keep you safe. Wow! Thank you so much! I'll keep it with me at all times. Hey, here comes the bus. So, I jump in front of it like a rainbow. <laughs> well, here we go! Woohoo! <laughs> get home and play video games. What a long, frustrating day at school. Is that a leprechaun? <laughs> hey there, champ. Say, do you want to be the richest boy in the whole entire world? <laughs> I'll give you a million gold coins. That's so why I give all the coins right now. Now, you didn't let me finish. Oh. Patience is a virtue, my lad. It'll serve you well to remember that. Now, I'll give you all the gold coins you can imagine if you follow me instructions and come with me through the rabbit hole into a field of clovers. That's where we go. Coins are hidden. All right, I'll follow you. My name's Toby. What's yours? Toby, is it? <laughs> Nice to meet you, Toby. I'm Jesse O'Sullivan. Cool. Come along now. Let's get your gold. Oh, there it is. Okay, now, on the count of three, I want you to jump into the rabbit hole and we'll be transported to the field of clovers. <laughs> But wait for me, Cal. One, two, three. <laughs> This is a very magical place, but there's no good without the bad. So stay right here while I get your pot of gold in. Don't touch anything. But I've never seen anything so beautiful. I want to explore. If you touch anything, and I mean anything, it'll bring you seven years of bad luck. So stay right there and don't move a muscle. You understand, Toby? Okay, I'll try my best. Where did that little leprechaun go? 
taking so long? I just need my coins so I can go home and play video games. Whoa! Oh no, the rainbow! I didn't see it! Oh, this isn't my fault. Uh, if I have seven years of bad luck because of this. Oh, what do I do? <laughs> well, Toby, here's your pot of gold. <laughs> I'm sorry it took me so long to find it. I, I forgot where I hid it. Say, what's wrong, champ? Jesse, I did something bad. I accidentally walked through the rainbow, and now I've got seven years of bad luck. I, I didn't see it, next thing I know. It's it's broken into a million little pieces. I'm so sorry. Toby, Toby, why'd you do that? Oh, you were gone for so long. I, I thought maybe you left me or changed your mind or something. I, I'm sorry. Well, of course I forgive you, but I... I can't give you the pot of gold now. You didn't listen to me. What? That's not fair. It's my pot of gold. You said you'd give it to me if I came with you, and and I did. I also told you to follow me instructions and exemplify patience. Now, me instructions are clear, but you didn't listen, so you don't deserve it. Fine. I want your stupid gold anyway. I just want to go home. So, that's up to you now, kid. I can't be seen traveling with someone who's got seven years of bad luck. That's not my style. What? How am I going to get home? Please, Jeffy, this day is bad enough. I just want to go home. I'll give you something. Anything. Look. I got this lucky rabbit's foot on my backpack keychain. I'll give it to you if you tell me how to get out of here. Hmm. Okay, fine. Hand it over. All right. Well, I can tell you where to go, but I'm still not going with you. Climb up that rainbow, the one you didn't break. <laughs> Slide down the other side. We'll take you directly home. Okay, see you later, alligator. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> oh, wow. Man, this is high. I can see everything from up here. <sighs> All right, I can do this. I just want to go home. One, two. Oh, wow. Oh, finally. It feels so good to be home. It's a shame I didn't get any gold and now it's seven years of bad luck. Wait. Maybe he was lying about the bad luck. If I was truly cursed, I wouldn't have made it down that slide in one piece. Ha. Little leprechaun liar. <laughs> oh, black cat! Oh, that means nothing. <laughs> Was that a mirror? Okay. All right. Uh... <gasps> oh no! I stepped on a crack! Ow, my back! I guess Jesse was right. Patience really is a virtue. I hope I have enough patience to make it through these next seven years. Sorry, Mom! Oh! Oh, did you see that? Oh, the final stories, and weren't they wonderful? Let's discuss, shall we? First of all, Lucky Charms. A story about an ungrateful child. Oh, there's a word for that. What is the word? What is the word? Oh, yes. Redundant. That's right. Uh, look it up, kids. Or get your parents to look it up for you. And then when they tell you what it means, don't thank them. The password is irony. How about the next story? The rich and lucky leprechaun. 
a tale about a frustrated redhead leprechaun being ostracized by an unfair, antiquated system. Or as I like to call him, Prince Harry. That's right. Ah, oh, another topical reference that won't mean a thing to you about a year from now. You're welcome. No, you're welcome. Oh, that reminds me. What do you call an out-of-control bus? A crayhound. Oh, another pun you didn't ask for. Oh, applause, applause. No, no, no more. It's a pun you didn't ask for. No, I don't care if you're muted. Louder. I don't care if you're muted. I don't care. All right. All right. Thanks. All right. That's enough. That's enough, you hooligans. Oh, how about the next story? The Lucky Gold Under the Rainbow. A story about an aging man who has access to massive riches, but sadly, he keeps suffering from concussions or as I like to call it, the NFL. Ah, another topical reference for you. You're welcome. No, thank you. And finally, the pot of gold. A story about characters who are trapped in a dungeon-like evil place that gives them the creeps. Or as I like to call it, the DMV. Ah, yes. Thank you so much for going on this magical journey on the rainbow with me. We hope you had a good time and you'll learn some valuable lessons. I know I did from these wonderful writers. This has been Force of Nature Productions. My name is Patio Furniture. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we love you. Thank you for being here. Happy St. Patrick's Day.